Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Reclaimer here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review of a new interesting product, something that I never really delved into before, but something that came up when I was looking into upgrading some of my prepping gear and also upgrading just some, some things to use when I'm maybe out and about and don't have cell service. And what I'm talking about is the Gotenna Mesh. So this is a nifty little device that lets you send brief messages and location without actually having uh, any cell phone uh, signal or Wi-Fi access. As long as you have your Android or iOS smart device, you're able to use the Gotenna Mesh to communicate with others. So let's go ahead and get started, look into this product a little further. If you looked at all at the description of the prep and EDC playlists that I have created, you'll know that I'm a, a pretty amateur prepper. Um, and when I say prepper, I don't get the idea of, you know, me out in the woods with uh, nothing but uh, the clothes on my back and, and hunting wild boar or anything along those lines, or one of the guys that builds a bomb shelter uh, in his residential neighborhood and stores 20 years of non-perishable food. That's not me. Instead, I find prepping as a good thing that everybody can do in some shape or form to just prepare for the unexpected. So one of those things that I've actually kind of neglected in my world of prepping has been communications. When I started looking into things that I, I could use to add to my prep kits, I found the Gotenna Mesh. Now this little device here they're sold in pairs. These are consumer grade. And what I mean by this is this is something that, you know, uh, you're not going to find like the military, for example, using this actual unit, right? The Gotenna does make some more um, tactical mesh applications that, that are out there. And you can go check those out on Gotenna's website. But this little device here is sold in pairs. The two of them retail for 179 US dollars. So you get a pack of two for about 180 US dollars. And what these do is they pair with your Android or iOS device, and you're able to send text messages and basic location data to other Gotenna users within the mesh network. So wh what does that mean? Let let's talk about that a little bit. So a mesh network basically uh, is a series, and I'm, I'm super simplifying it here, so I'm sure, you know, if, if I explain this wrong, go ahead and correct me in the comments. Um, but a mesh network is basically a series of nodes, and this is a node. And the more nodes that are out there, the larger the network ex uh, extends. So this node here is capable of transmitting with ideal conditions up to about a mile and a half. So I'm talking ideal, nice, clear sight lines, right? this node to another node can transmit a message about one and a half miles. However, if there are multiple nodes within a particular area, you extend the, uh, the ability for your messages to go as far as the network can go. So your messages can actually hop from Gotenna device to Gotenna device within the mesh network. So what do you need in order to use this mesh network? Well, you need a Gotenna device and you need a smartphone or smart device running iOS or Android. That's all you need. Once you purchase this, the use of this is free. Okay, you don't have to pay any monthly fee to use your Gotenna device and to participate in their mesh network. They do have a premium service for a, an annual fee um, that allows you to get more maps like topographic maps and also use uh, Gotenna user cellular devices to bounce messages from outside of the mesh network. So now that you know what you need, let's talk about what happens. So basically you pair this device to your Gotenna app on your smart device. And when you go through the pairing process, you get to choose either basically your phone number or a randomly generated number, and that serves as your GID. Your GID is basically like a phone number for the Gotenna Mesh Network. So once you have your Gotenna charged, you have the uh, device paired to your smart device, you're able to pretty much just start using 
the Gotenna. Now, there's a couple different things to know about this particular device. So it does, it is rechargeable and the battery life nominally is somewhere around 24 to 25 hours. So you're going to want to make sure if you have this on all the time, it's going to need to be charged. Okay, so it does come with an included micro USB charging cable. Um, I know some people out there in the Gotenna forums have these hardwired up to a constant power source. Uh, so that they're able to uh, have them serve as a relay, and I'll talk about that more in just a little bit. Uh, but the battery life is about one day if it's powered on, okay? Now, if it's in standby mode, you add about an extra two hours to that. But once you have this paired up, you've got your battery charged, you know what the battery life's gonna be, then you can start getting into actually using the, uh, the, the application to send and receive messages. Now, there's a couple different things, and I'm gonna walk through it here on my phone, on my iPhone. Uh, so you can kind of see what, we, what we'd be looking at. So when I open up the Gotenna app and I click on the hamburger menu to the left upper left hand side, uh, my Gotenna is actually powered off right now, so I'm gonna turn it on. So you can see that we have chats, location, contact, relay mode, settings, and all this other fun stuff. So when I'm in the Gotenna chat section here, you can see that we have uh, some basic Gotenna chats and then we also have direct messages. So there's first off you see at the top is the emergency channel. Okay, now the emergency channel is uh, basically only to be used for, you guessed it, emergencies. And you can activate an emergency beacon either through the app or using the power button on your Gotenna device. If you press the power button rapidly five times, it starts uh, the emergency beacon mode. It sends out your location and it sends out some basic information that you set up in the settings and it'll send that out at random, uh, at various intervals uh, in this emergency chat. Now, it's really important that you don't use this unless it's an actual emergency. You actually could be banned from using Gotenna if you abuse the emergency chat. So just something to know about. So we also have the shout feature. Now, the shout feature is when you send a message and you don't care who that message goes to, that it just goes to anybody within range within the node. So you, you see here that Gotenna says don't use this for emergencies, but you can use it for you know discovery and fun and all this other stuff. So if you send a shout from the app, it basically is gonna send your message to anyone with a Gotenna in range. And then we have direct messages. So you can see here that I have two different types of messages going on right now. I have a group message and I have a one-on-one -on -one chat. I'm gonna compose a new one-on-one -on -one chat. And I'm gonna say it's just to my wife um, and we were just playing around with this uh, on Christmas when I, when I gave her hers. Um, but you can see here, it's a very basic messaging interface. It's not meant for you to send like a long book or pictures or anything like that. It's just text and location, which if you're in some type of uh, off the grid scenario, you don't really care so much about sending picture, picture messages or emojis or anything like that. You care about sending basic information. So if I go down to this little uh, send a message section, I can compose a new message. Now, if I were to send this right now, I know my wife is outside of range, so this probably won't get to her. Um, but if I hit this little plus button, you can see I have some additional options. You can see that I can attach a location a pin uh, of a maybe a shared waypoint or something along those lines. I can attach my location to let her know where I am, and that's based off of the phone's GPS that I have it attached to. I can request her location. I can also auto share my location with her. And you can also see that I have it set up here. There's a little checkbox next to it that if my wife requests my location, it automatically sends my location. I don't have to do anything in the app. Now you can see that throughout my conversation history here that I shared my location with my wife. And if you click on this little map here, you can see where I shared the location, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can also pull up the map just by hitting the little map icon on the upper right. So you can see uh, where I am and where I have a pin marked. So that's kind of neat. Uh, so that's pretty much for the chat uh, feature, right? So you can do group chats, shout chats, or one-on-one -on -one chats, which is very nice. You also have the ability to download maps for offline use. So I have several maps downloaded for offline use uh, on my phone here. So I have a map of Pennsylvania. I have a map of some countries that we're going to be going to soon where I know I'm not going to have cell service. So I downloaded these. So as long as I have GPS signal with my phone, I'm able to utilize the map feature. So if I zoom in here, 
I can see where I am or, you know, where my GoTenna device is. If I tap on this, I can see a little, you know, a little pin, uh, which is really cool. So that just shows you the, the very basics of, of how to use your GoTenna mesh for sending messages and utilizing the map features. The last thing I want to show you and, and talk about here is the relay mode. Now, relay mode is a neat little feature. And, and what it does is it basically um, lets you use a Gotenna device that isn't mobile. So technically, it's supposed to be like a stationary Gotenna device that you have at your house or at your cabin or wherever um, that you have connected to a constant power source. And you can set your device to act as a relay. So it just kind of sits there. It doesn't stay paired to your phone or anything like that. It sits there out of the way, and its sole purpose is just to help extend the mesh network. And you can even go on imeshu.com and add your nodes and your stationary relays to help show other users where stationary relays exist so they can understand how they could potentially get a Gotenna mesh service in a particular area. So that's really cool. So this relay mode section just explains how to activate and deactivate relay mode. That's all it is. So we talked a little bit about what the Gotenna mesh is. We talked about how it pairs to your device. We talked about how it communicates with other Gotenna meshes in a particular node, how you can send messages and how you can send location. So my overall impressions of having this now for several weeks is it's a nice device that you have. You kind of forget that you have it. So it's important to remember to keep it charged, especially if you plan on having it on all the time. What I plan on doing with my particular device is keeping it charged periodically, leaving it off and keeping it with my uh, my get home bag that I have in my vehicle. So I'll, I'll check this every once in a while because it'll be off. It won't be drawing a charge. I'll make sure that it is charged. And then if I ever need it, I know it's in my get home bag. So that way, if you know I have to, you know, I'm stranded out in the middle of the road for some reason and I got to walk home and I got to walk, you know, 10 miles home for some reason, you know, no one can come pick me up. I can't afford an Uber or a Lyft. Um, I, I know I have it there with me. More realistically, if I'm out and about and I'm out with friends and we decide to go, you know, up to the lake, or we're out and we get really poor cell signal. I have it with me, so I don't have to worry about it being at home where I can't use it, where I don't get access to it. And it's just gonna kind of be there and I'm gonna kind of forget about it a little bit. These devices, in my opinion, are relatively affordable. Again, $180 gets you two of these. And you for $180, you have a device that lets you communicate with others without any cell phone or uh, cell phone service or Wi-Fi signal. Very, very practical and essential when you're in areas without uh, other forms of communication. So I definitely would recommend this. Again, this is my opinion. I haven't been paid to say any of this, but for the price, for the form factor, for the battery life, and for the features of it all, and the convenience of having something when you need it, especially for preppers out there, or especially for those that tend to go on a lot of outdoor adventures, I think that you should invest some money in having a nice little device. Will this replace your cell phone? Will it replace a ham radio? No, but it gives you an additional option to have, and it gives you something that is way practical for everyday use for consumers, for folks that don't feel like going through the hassle of learning ham radio or getting a ham license. This is definitely something that should be in your running. So let me know what you think about what I talked about. Do you have one of these? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? Are there other options that other you know that you can look at when you're looking at getting into the mesh network? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, you know that would be cool. Uh, I, I appreciate them. And if you want to see more of my videos, I usually post every week, so you're going to get a new video on something related to prepping, to technology, to travel, to uh, different things in my life. If you want to learn more, go ahead and hit subscribe. You'll get notified when I have new videos out there, which is pretty cool. So until next time, it's Reclaimer. We'll talk to you soon, internet.